A little bit of kindness goes a long way, and we've got three stories that prove just how far it can go. Starting with community loaves. The donation that we just had, 3,231 loaves. Incredible. Catherine Curley is on a mission to end hunger one loaf at a time. Back in April of last year, Catherine started Community Loaves with a donation of 19 loaves of bread made by a handful of volunteer bakers in Seattle. Since then, their numbers have risen to 488 volunteers, and their goal is to donate 30,000 loaves by the end of this year. The local uh, food pantry that we're supporting is Hope Link. They have five um, pantry locations from Seattle to the east side, and they are supporting 3,000 families a week. To get involved, head to communityloaves.org. Our next story is about a cross-country trash pickup. My name is Steph and I'm about to drive cross country and pick up trash. Stephanie Shamrovich decided she wanted to make a road trip across the U.S. to see friends and family. And along the way, she's been cleaning up litter. On April 24th, she left Fort Collins, Colorado. And within a month, she'd collected over 1,900 gallons of litter throughout 42 cities and she's funding her trip through one $10 donation at a time. So if you'd like to donate $10, I will pick up a whole bag of trash for you. You can follow along with her journey on Instagram at Steph Sham or donate to her GoFundMe page. And our final story is the Rare Bear Army. We are part of the Rare Bear Army, which makes these children bears for the children with the rare diseases. Tanita Waters and Macheco Rice are just some of the people who create one-of-a-kind teddy bears for one-of-a-kind kids. Tanita's daughter, Christina, is the founder of Rare Science, a San Diego-based nonprofit research organization that works with kids with rare diseases. She called me and said, we need a mascot. <laughs> and so I said, okay, so we got together as some friends of mine and we made up some bears and we picked one. That was five years ago. And now the army includes some 7,000 sewers from around the world. After the bears are sent out, the volunteers receive a picture of the child with their new bear. And those are three stories where kindness wins.